Hi there, Libra. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a Zodiac Energy reading for you, Libra, for the last half of July. So July 16th through the 31st. We've got this full moon coming up um, tomorrow, the 13th of July in Capricorn. So I wanted to see what this full moon was going to bring us. If you like this video, Libra, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Meditate and contemplate. Time to go within, Libra. Time to pull your energy back and really go inside for a little while. Go, go meditative. Let's see why. <laughs> Let's get you an animal spirit card. The otter, so hard at work, but happy, <clears throat> very happy little being here. And can really go from the water to the land too as well. So you're really adapting quickly to your circumstances, to your environment. And I see the fish in here too. So that's the new moon in Pisces in the uh, moon oracle card. So yeah, it's time to just kind of swim in your own little pond here and contemplate some things. But you're happy doing it. It's not like it's this deep, dark shadow work. So that's a good thing. So let's see. Justice. Justice is yours. Look at this Libra card coming out to say that victory is yours. Balance is yours. It's the number 11, master number. Uh, yeah. So whatever you're contemplating and meditating on here or praying for, this is really good energy. This is really calm energy and victorious energy patience on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Libra, this is starting out really well for you. I'm loving this energy so far. Let's see what's on Libra's mind. What you thinking about? Two of Wands. You're making a decision. Looking about traveling. Maybe traveling overseas. Getting out get into the water, get into the beach, the ocean to contemplate these things. Four of Wands comes out to say celebration is really yours now. And the Hierophant, I love this energy, Libra. Look at all of this pink. Look at all of this fire going on for you. And uh, the Hierophant, really you're elevating up. You're elevating up out of something here and you're really preparing for a future. And the King of Wands, there's my ancestral guide, my uh, sign that you have uh, divine protection here there is a spirit that has crossed over that is really got your back here really watching out for you and um, let's see let's see look at this beautiful energy you are sitting in bottom of the deck five of cups to kind of let all of the stress go all of the worry go it is time for Libra to relax let's see what is in your heart space holding on with the four of pentacles strength look at these major arcana holding on to what you have and letting go of the burdens really letting go of the burdens of the sorrow of the grief of all of it you're really walking away from this libra right underneath the hierophant too so you have gone meditative this is beautiful Oh my God, in the Page of Swords, you've got all of this information coming in from spirit, all of these light bulb moments, these little epiphanies uh, coming in from that spirit guide too, from that ancestral guidance. But as soon as you let your heart ease up and lighten up from those burdens, all of these messages come in. There's going to be so many messages. You're going to really see these messages, signs everywhere. Uh, birds everywhere, uh, light bulb moments. It feel like you're walking in between. You're kind of in between spirit and the tangible and the earthly. Beautiful. Beautiful. You really have gone meditative here. You're really refining your spirituality here. You're going deep. You've got the strength to do it. Lots of Leo energy here, too. I'm seeing, oh my God, and the magician comes out in the foundation. You are ready to create, ready to manifest. It's like you've mastered the law of attraction. You know how to do this now. <laughs> oh, look at this. After all that heartbreak, all of that sorrow, now you're merging energies. You're really feeling like you are taking that sorrow, taking those things that have happened to us, those 
burdens that you carried on your shoulders, on your back with you, and now you just set it all down. You're walking away and you're merging those energies. You're merging the light and the dark now. You've done the shadow work, Libra. You've done that. You've looked inside. You've looked at the traumas of the past. You've looked at the triggers. And now you're creating this new future, this future away from the heartbreak. You're just kind of done with that. It's like lesson learned. I'm not doing that anymore. And that brings in the Ace of Pentacles. That's beautiful. A brand new beginning in money for you too. And no more of this. I can't see everything. It's like you've been opened up. You, when you went meditative, something within you, your third eye opened up and you can see so clearly now. It's like that's not blocked for you anymore. The way is not blocked for you anymore. You can see the path very clearly. You just had to let go of some of those burdens. It was like this residual cycle left over. And now you're looking to your future. You're looking to celebrate. You're looking to um, gather again. You really are. You're looking to gather again. You've elevated up out of all of this sorrow, all of these burdens. You've really set them down and walked away from them. You're feeling this guidance now. You're feeling the spirit guide who's coming in and really trying to uplift you and, and kind of urge you into that next cycle here signs coming in everywhere from the universe. I mean, you are really getting messages. You're getting text messages from people out of the blue you never expected to hear from. As soon as you walked away from those burdens, um, I feel like people just started feeling you. It was like you were this magnet. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to engage in life again. I'm ready to participate again. I'm ready to move on from the heartbreak and the sorrow. I'm not going to stand, uh, stay up all night crying again or or feeling the weight of the world or feeling the sorrows of the world. I'm ready to really move on from this. I've been holding on to my emotions. I've been holding on to my thoughts, my feelings. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm going to be brave enough to show the world how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and what's on my mind. I'm going to show the world what's on my mind here. And uh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. You're finding yourself just lighter and lighter and happier and happier. Love this. Look at Nine of Cups on the bottom. Wishes fulfilled love this energy Libra you really are walking away I see this line of heartache that you went through you processed you you went contemplative and you processed those triggers so they can't trigger you anymore it's like now you're walking this this uh, elevation line now you're just your only focus is elevating out of this it's like I can no longer learn these lessons I'm done I've done it <laughs> And look at Page of Swords comes out on the Two of Wands. People are really watching you. They're watching your dreams come true. They're watching you get exactly what you want. Look at this. The Two of Cups comes out on the Four of Wands. This is a marriage. This is a partnership coming into you. Reciprocity and love. So you're willing to give your heart again. You're willing to open up yourself to love again. Because when you were sitting in the dark and in these troubles and in this heartache, sorrow here, you were not willing to give your heart away anymore. That hurt too much. I am not doing that. I'm holding my feelings close to my chest. I'm not going to reveal how I'm feeling just to get it thrown right back in my face and rejected. So you held on. You held on. You were really uh, <laughs> diligent about not sharing how you were feeling, even if it drove other people away or, or away for a little bit. It, they didn't know how you felt about them king of swords but now you know now you are communicating clearly concisely you know exactly what you need to say what you want to say and you're doing that with the hierophant it's like you've broken down broken down these um, ideas of yours of ideas of love ideas of money ideas of work ideas of where you're going to live you've broken that all down through this sorrow and heartbreak and with the help of this guide here and you just packed up your bags and left. It's like, I can't, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not sitting in sorrow anymore. I'm, I, I deserve to be happy. I'm going to be happy. And boy, you're coming into that. If you haven't experienced this real sense of joy and happiness um, yet, it's coming for you by the end of July here, Libra. You're going to be feeling much, much lighter, much, much happier. You're putting down this lack mentality. You're putting down this poverty mentality of there's not enough no matter <clears throat> what I do no matter where I go no matter who I meet it's not enough it's not enough love it's not enough money it's not enough time in the day 
and you're really putting that down you're just walking away from that with the five of pentacles coming out in the reverse on top of the king of wands here that king of wands that spirit energy that guide of yours really almost pushed you away from that mentality it was just keeping you in the dark keeping you almost blindfolded where is that card here two of swords it was keeping you in this mentality where you couldn't decide because you didn't have all the facts so you were afraid to make any decisions you were really afraid to even move so it's lovely to see that come out like that that's beautiful four of swords this is the rest after the battle you have battled look at the four of pentacles you've battled with money as well you've battled with your savings you've battled with if i put it out there it's not coming back to me the more i put out there the less comes back to me and it was this law of attraction in balance with you with love with money with uh, time especially I feel this crunch for time like there was not enough time in the day to make what I needed to uh, get everything done that I needed to get done it was like you had the whole weight of the world on your shoulder and there it is with the ten of wands right on top of the strength you've had to have a lot of strength you've had a lot of burdens on your back this has been heavy work for you climbing up this mountain with all of these burdens and no help there was just no help here to pick up the slack for you you've got two ten of wands here i mean that was a long cycle i'd say a 10-year cycle that you've been really carrying the, the the weight of the world on your shoulders and you really have for everyone in your community for everyone in your family your tight-knit group that you've allowed in they really piled the burdens on you so that they could feel lighter because of these hard times the whole world has gone through so you were really really juggling you were juggling finances you were juggling people you were juggling lives it's like you had this this responsibility i don't know if this was self-imposed or if people around you just literally put this responsibility on your back but you had this responsibility to take care of things to take care of people maybe you're a caretaker maybe you're you're uh, caring for elderly parents or young children and you are definitely caring for someone and that's taken a lot of your time your energy your money so now you're feeling lighter you're getting these ideas from the universe that there is a different way here there's uh all kinds of messages coming at you i hope you are seeing those look at this the magician again on top of the page of swords you are getting all kinds of messages the universe is really trying to speak to you and tell you we see you we saw how hard that was we saw how burdensome that was we saw how heartbreaking that was for you and so now we're le letting you be the alchemist you are the creator here you get to create this whole new future of yours and you're seeing the signs that that is true you're seeing the messages that you can believe that 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 is true those people that you cared for those people that you carried through the dark and that you took on their responsibilities they are really honoring you for that and spirit is honoring you for that as well it's like you took on this battle all on your own i don't know who the battle was with or what the battle was with but it was with responsibilities it was like this was your karmic lesson in responsibilities and boy you took it on and you mastered it so people are really honoring you now they're really respecting you and what you have accomplished here and they are grateful they're very grateful for taking care of them and um, not letting everything just fall down around them three of cups they want to celebrate with you right on top of this three of swords so you really took people's heartbreak you really took their sorrow and you transformed it for them you transmuted this sorrow into celebration into joy you showed them there's a better way we can do this um, we just have to do it together if you're sitting all alone thinking about everything that's gone wrong in your life you are going to ex sit in this energy it's just so hard to get out of there's no hand reaching down there's no light there's no hope here but here you come libra and you show them that there's another way that that there is still room for celebration we can experience the sorrow and the loss but it's time to experience the other side of that and the happiness and joy and what life the purpose of life is for and you really showed some people this you really brought them through some dark times and they're celebrating you now and they're holding you in a much higher light they they honor you and respect you for uh, carrying them through for being the caretaker that you are for being the beacon through the dark and you were the hand that reached out into that darkness and said here come with me follow me i will help you this is your hand just reaching down into the collective into the humanity part of it and saying here come with me i've got this i've been here i've done this let's go <laughs> and you pulled them out from the depths 
seven of wands you really worked hard at this you you did some boundary making too as well in the process so very few people were awarded your help were awarded your love and understanding because it was so overwhelming for you you had the weight of the world on your shoulders but you cut out some people that were not serving you in return that were not honoring you and were not respecting what you were doing and so you just cut them out i don't know if you just energetically cut those bonds or if you physically walked away but you created boundaries here to say i i can only handle so much because i'm really helping people here i'm really uh, assisting here with spirit and i've got a job to do and you cut some people out to do that to do that to the people who deserved it to the people who were worthy look at you in the empress energy this is also libra taurus energy and you are sitting in some uh, really prosperous congratulatory energy now spirit is really honoring you for what you've done here i don't know if you even realize what you've done here but you have pulled people from the depths of the dark here i don't know how you did that because the whole world was going through this kind of heartbreak this kind of sorrow and for some reason libra found a spark of hope in this and a different way to think about it maybe because you went meditative and con you contemplated what happened here but boy you found some way out of this energy and you turned around instead of running for the light instead of running for the joy that was missing in all of our lives for so long you turned around and you held that hand out and you said please come with me I can show you the way out of this and you did and you did you've helped a lot of people they're honoring you they're they're cheering for you in in uh, spirit land right now they're just really cheering for you for what you've been able to accomplish so good for you good for you this is really really um, interesting because you've got all of these people watching you you've got all of these spirits watching you and and they saw you go through this poverty they saw you go through these struggles with the world and um, they saw the burdens on your back they wanted to they were always there helping you but they wanted to see if you could do it on your own and boy by god you did libra you did it you, you had the strength to do it you had the stamina to do it you were the uh, resourceful one here to figure this out and it sure ended up this cycle for you and into a new cycle i mean that was the end of it libra you don't have to worry about going back into the dark to these depths any longer those lessons have been learned by you you've experienced it you're done you're ready for the light and the epiphanies now and the elevation that you deserve i mean you really deserve this elevation the spiritual elevation so that you won't ever have to visit these dark places anymore this is beautiful libra i just love this on to wishes fulfilled for you you deserve it you've worked hard for this the light is yours and uh, celebration is yours absolutely so enjoy it really enjoy it you've earned this you deserve this all right libra if you like this video don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe buttons and i will definitely check in with you soon leave me a comment let me know if this resonates at all with you i really appreciate it all right i will check in soon